Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new video. My name is Oliver, and in this video, we will explore new adventures together. But before we start with the video, I would like to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go. All right, here we are. Tanzania, Kilimanjaro. We have arrived. 16 hours. <laughs> Oof, it's a good temperature here, 25 degrees, something like that. So now let's get through security check through customs and find our transfer. So we're going with this truck. We have Brilliant Adventures and Safaris booked. They're solo. And they're literally everywhere, those safari trucks. It's so cool. We're gonna drive an hour to the hotel where we're gonna be staying tonight. Tomorrow, the safari tour will begin, so they will pick us up early in the morning. We don't know what time yet, but the safari starts tomorrow, so today we can relax a little bit. There is a spa hotel, which is amazing. We've been traveling for such a long time, so we can use a power nap or a siesta. Uh, we like them in Spain. Tanzania. Community, the union, Thanks. on both sides. On this side going up, and on the other side going up. Because we have uh, Mount Kilimanjaro to the left. As we were driving, we passed a lot of farmers with their cows, sheep, and goats. And on the way, we passed through some cute villages with a lot of people everywhere, walking and cycling everywhere. Get some coffee, Saul. Yes, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Look what we got. Yes. And they gave us personalized coffee mugs with our names on it. It's so yeah. cute. We are ready, right, Salo? Yes. Ready to go. It was funny because Salo, he texted me when he was still in Brazil, like, I don't have a safari hat. Do you know in Amsterdam where I can get one? one. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And he was like, oh, no, damn. So we all go on a safari without a safari hat. And look. What we got! We're very happy. I don't need much because I think like, most of the drive is inside the car, right? Ah, when you open yes. up, you need it a lot. Ah, oh, we open up. Oh, we open up. Oh, we open up. This can be open up. <laughs> awesome. You really need that hat. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're providing it. Otherwise. Yes. Whoa. We arrived at our hotel, Grand Melia in Arusha. And we pulled up on a driveway which looked incredible, it was so beautiful. They helped us get out of the car. The lobby was amazing, look how beautiful. Guys, we arrived in our hotel, look. The beds. And this view. They have a coffee farm kind of a thing going on here. Beautiful. He's having his dinner <laughs> with the beautiful views. We moved to the table because we're gonna have dinner here as well. And the views are spectacular. It's almost sunset. Oh guys, it's amazing. My hair looks terrible because I just took a shower. We ordered food already, so let's see how that looks and tastes, obviously. Whoa. And look what solo I have. That looks amazing. Enjoy. Oh my god, I was just about to eat and we started shaking. It was an earthquake. This was the first time in my life. What did we just experience? Earthquake. Yes. Oh my god. I was literally about to grab a bite from my burger and it literally, I literally started shaking. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it was a 5.6 earthquake and it was the first time in my life. So, well, let's continue with the video. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. We just woke up. We're gonna go down to get some breakfast and then we finish packing our bags because the guy is gonna pick us up with the Jeep truck, the safari truck to go on the safari today. We slept for an amazing 10 hours at least. We went to bed very early yesterday, but we needed it. We slept so long and so good as well. I just took a quick shower because I don't know what to expect during the safari and I really love good showers. So that one was really nice. We're gonna go down to grab a cup of coffee now and then we'll be on our way. I'm gonna go for the scrambled eggs, I think. There's so many different ones. Nice. And the beans. Yes. So we take two juices. We also have watermelon juice. 
Bon Appetit. Oh, delicious. As you can see, they're like only safari trucks here. Literally. So, here we go. We start the day. Ready. The temperature here is different in that summit now. Oh, now in East Africa, the biggest one, maybe it would be in Africa, is Kibera in Kenya. Kenya, yes. That's crazy. Gabriel, our guide and driver for this whole safari, he told us that it's about one and a half hour drive to the first national park and we're gonna spend there the whole day driving around, spotting animals and then we'll stay over there at an amazing lodge as well. They are really prepared, they have this box full of popcorn, cakes, look at that. They even gave us a bottle of wine. White. White wine. And there's a, a cool box full of water. You can even charge your phone here. It's crazy. These guys are taking good care of us. Here. Brilliant. It's red. Oh, it's red? Oh, it's red one. Okay. Oh, good, good. Zebritas! In Zebra. We're gonna do our best to spot the five animals of the big five. We're gonna make a small checklist here at the bottom of the screen and we will be checking off the animals that we see. This is the first zebra we see. First animals. Hi. We saw a lot of animals already, but this is the first wildlife, wildlife. animals. Zebras. Zebras. Bye zebra. Dog zebras. Oh, look at their asses. That's so cute, Marty from Madagascar. We're this dressed in yours. camouflage here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is my yeah, but mine was no <laughs> Amazing. As we left the city behind us, more and more Maasai villages appeared. So we went from Arusha all the way to the national park, a one and a half hour drive. And no, the roads were not that good. Here we are. There's so many, so many safari cars. Look at that. It's crazy. Everyone is waiting to get into the park. Well, we're gonna pee very quickly and then we'll be on our way. It's already getting so hot. I think it's around like 23 degrees now. And uh, he's already taken off his jacket. I'm kind of keeping it on because my shirt is pretty wrinkled. Um, but we're looking for the toilets to quickly pee. Completely in style. Perfect. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. The ground looks like granola. Breakfast. <laughs> Don't you think so? Yeah. yeah. All right. This looks good. Solid. Let's see. Perfect. Hell yeah. So then, this is the last thing that was missing. Perfect. We have entered the park and we see an impala. Nice. Here are more impalas, a whole herd. So cute. The entry fee for this park is 53 US dollars and the best time to visit is between June and October during the dry season. There were so many zebras where they were so special in the beginning when we first saw them. Now they are literally everywhere and they love standing on the road. So you come very close to them as well. What is there? Elephant over there. Oh yes. Hello elephant. He's alone. Is he alone? It's a male. Oh, it's a male. He's looking for a herd. We actually came very close to the elephant so we had to stay quiet to not disturb him. The Terengir National Park has only one river, the Terengir River. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the only water source in the area. As we were driving deeper into the park, we used our binoculars all the time to stop quickly and have a look around to see if we can spot some lines maybe in the distance. 
This park truly gave me Lion King vibes. Like, as far as your eyes can look, you see savanna, you see the yellow grass and the trees up there. This park is full of zebras. We've seen so many already. And of course, there were also other safari trucks in the park. The park has over 500 different bird species and they are so beautiful. These flies, <laughs> they, they, they attack you and they stay on you and they, they stick you. So what is there? Ostrich. And two zebras right there. And the ostrich. We've seen uh, more. We've seen ostrich, elephant, antelope. Eagle. Oh. What? Impala. Impalas. The eagle. No falco. Oh yeah, the brown snake eagle. Yeah. So many animals. And they seem to be very used to the cars because they're looking at us and they're like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they don't care. The, the pack of zebras, the herd of the zebras, they just crossed the road right in front of us. They were like standing on the side of the road. And, what are you disturbing us? Tranquilo. <laughs> oh, look at them. And the trees here are big. There's some big trees from the Lion King, you know? Same, right? Yes. <laughs> The baby is sleeping, mom is at the back of the herd, and the two daddies are protecting the baby. After watching these elephants for a couple of minutes, we decided to continue driving and we stumbled across a new animal, an animal that we haven't seen before. He really likes you, Ralph, huh? <laughs> no, just oh. it because of the flies. So here we have baby Shirov with her mommy. Look, right there. And we were able to witness a very special moment. Both mom and the baby were running over the street. And it's very special to see these animals run because they run in such a different way than other animals. And of course, we passed another herd of zebras. All right, so we've seen a couple of animals already and now it's time to take a break. And we are looking for a lunch spot right now because we want to set up a lunch camp and have lunch in the middle of nowhere. Literally, there's no one. You don't hear any sound, just the birds, the wind and the grass. And that's it. I've white shoes, not a very good choice, but... We stopped the Jeep at a tree where we wanted to have lunch. But when Gabriel, our guide, looked up, he saw this massive killer bee's nest. Apparently they are African killer bees and they could be very dangerous because they are attracted to the smell of water and food. So if we were gonna have lunch under that tree, we would have been in danger. So we grabbed our stuff and drove to another tree where we could have lunch. Under a tree with no bees. <laughs> That's a whole table. It's a real picnic. In the middle of nowhere. We are here, we have so much food, we have rice, we have pasta, we have everything. It's a brilliant lunch. Because I think, honestly, I've already told Salo, this is the most beautiful place. Yeah, I think this is the most beautiful place I had lunch in my life. And for you? Yes, the same. I agree. Look where we are. It's so quiet. There's no sound. Only birds and me talking, <laughs> which is pretty annoying. <laughs> After the amazing lunch in the most beautiful spot I've ever had lunch, we continued our safari in search for amazing animals. You had a good lunch? It was delicious. Now I'm digesting the food. And enjoying the ride because we're not even halfway. No. A little bit of advice, if a lion attacks you, you don't run away, you don't make any noise, something like that, you move slowly. The thing is, if a lion kills a human, the lion has to be killed. 
and I know now why. Because I was always like, why do people have to kill them? Because whatever, the lion is living its life, right? And that's nature, those things happen. But actually, the lion has to be killed because human flesh is so delicious, they don't want anything else. So they keep looking for humans to kill and to eat because their flesh is so delicious. So that makes sense. If a lion kills a human, it has to be killed because otherwise, none of the other humans in that community is safe. But the question is, are we gonna see the lions today? So apparently everyone is here at this tree. There might be something going on. Well, we had a look and apparently it's a leopard chilling there. We're gonna see if we can get closer, but everyone is obviously waiting so long in front of it to take pictures and videos and all that. So let's see, we're close. So there was a leopard, but everyone's queuing up. We saw them with our bare eyes. They're like, we just keep calling. Because literally everyone is there. Like they have portos and they're just screaming to everyone like, ah, here's something. And then everyone goes there. It's crazy. Oh, here are the, the elephants. and the male was a bit closer to us, scratching his back against the tree. After watching him for like 15 minutes, he decided to walk towards the road we were standing on. And yes, you guessed it right, this resulted into a magical moment. And now, if you have been following me on Polar Steps, you've been looking forward to this very moment. Because now I'm gonna show you a piece of footage that I recorded, a once in a lifetime situation where elephants are attacking lions. Hold your breath, because this is gonna be fascinating. Do you see it? Look! Oh, the mullahs a lot! He attacks, he attacks! He attacks. Look at that. We'll kill these lions. They're coming this way. Are you recording? Yes. You see the cubs are coming here? Yes. <laughs> you see the cubs? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the moms are still up there, so mom should go this way too. Wasn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, it was even more exciting when we were really there, like in that moment. We continued our drive and we stumbled across another herd of elephants and another magical moment happened. Look at this. All right, it's getting later and later, and now it is time to drive towards the lodge where we will be staying. It's gonna be kind of look serious, kind of not. So I'm very excited to arrive and see everything. I'll show you guys in a minute. First, a few more videos of this day, what we've seen, and then in a few moments, we will arrive in the camp. And we've seen so many animals already, crazy. The most beautiful birds, zebras, elephants, giraffe, everything, ostrich. And they're all looking at us like, what you doing here? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> He's cute. Hello. Yeah. All right, we've arrived in our camp. We've been literally inside the safari jeep for the whole day. They picked us up at eight and it is 5.30 now. So the whole day of seeing a lot of animals. Oh, we're tired. Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very curious what the tent looks like. They are in the middle of nowhere on a hill. No fans whatsoever. So it could possibly be that tomorrow we wake up, we open the tent doors and there's a zebras or elephants there. So. Let's see what we're gonna experience here. The guys are so friendly, they did not let us carry our own bags. So this is the bed. It is huge. Two persons bed. A mirror with drinking water. Here you have the sink. That's me. And then here, if you open this up, boom. Toilet, if you open this up, shower somewhere 
area. So we have 20 liters of water per person and Salo is gonna take a shower today already and tomorrow a quick one but it's probably cold water I forgot to ask but if it's cold water then I'm probably not even gonna use the 20 liters but if it's hot water maybe it is a huge tent honestly the night is falling and we're walking to the dinner buffet we've seen so many things today it's truly been an amazing day we're here having dinner yeah that's it delicious mm. good morning guys second day in this national park in africa salo is ready he's already sitting on the corner of the couch me too actually i just have to grab my stuff right here the boys are gonna bring it to the front we're gonna have breakfast right now just had a shower here as well so it's pretty good we have 20 liters a person to shower every day and there's hot water as well so that's good so i wanted to shower and then that baby was right in front of the shower. <laughs> Look at it. It's not that big, but it's just, it seems poisonous. <laughs> They've been screaming the whole night. <laughs> All that cheese, wow. Oh, I'm begging. I'm making the egg. Yeah, delicious. And that's it, local cheese and some scrambled eggs with bacon and the coffee. And he even has a chicken wing. Whoa, haven't seen those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. After this delicious breakfast, we walked to the Jeep where Gabriel was already waiting for us. And the sky looked pretty dark gray, so hopefully it's not gonna rain today. We're back at the truck. We're gonna drive the whole day again. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> okay, first drips. We felt it. Mm, maybe we have to blow the roof then. We're gonna drive the whole day again to a lake not far from here. But because we have to cross the whole national park where we are right now, also we are driving for hours and hours. We're going to a lake, as I said, and uh, sleeping in a lodge. I am very curious to see what we run into today. So come with me and hopefully we see some more beautiful animals. So yesterday we did see some lions and other great animals as I said, but today, like right now, in a few moments, we will stand eye to eye with two male lions. I'm telling you, this is gonna be crazy. Have a look. Good morning, lions. <laughs> and the lions are looking at the buffalo they want to eat it probably wow gabriel our guide he told us that these two lions are two males developed males older males already no young cubs or anything but they don't have the mane because uh, they're being hunted and when they don't have their mane they're not being hunted because hunters they want don't want females right they want the males in their head with the mane all around it it's very sad on one hand to see that these grown-up males don't have their mane anymore just because people hunting them outside of the national reserve a little fact good morning good morning mamas We continued our journey and stumbled across some zebras and wildebeest. Hola. These birds are just small turkeys, honestly. And they're so beautiful. The blue on their neck is so bright. Wow. A tree full of these vultures could mean that there was a kill close by. There's lots of vultures this year. And of course there are impalas. These are just like the dugs in the pond behind my house. They're everywhere. We made a quick stop to go to the bathroom and there's like a viewpoint here at Mirador. It's just really nice, you saw the river. It's kind of dry now, it's not raining season. So, oof, all these flies. But we saw the lions this morning, which was amazing, honestly. It was just, I think we couldn't think of a better morning to spot these lions. Here we have some woodpeckers and other special birds, which is also very cool. I don't know, I don't have any internet here. Oh gosh, I'll go back in the car. <laughs> And I think next to zebras and impalas, wildebeest are also all over the place. They don't care about us getting so close. Hey, pretty yeah, legs. Without wow. Their males and females. Where's the mom? They have left their fa families now. They didn't uh, and what do we have here? A new animal. It's Pumbaa. 
How cute is that? Look at mom in the front, all the babies behind her, and then the two daddies close off to her to keep everyone safe. We're back at the main gate, right here. And he is closing the roof now because we're going on the highway. On the highway with an oak roof is not so nice. I'm still literally looking at Impalas there. I feel very good. I slept amazing and the temperature is nice now. It's increasing as I said before. The food is good and the people are very nice. So definitely if you come in Tanzania, check out this safari park and brilliant safaris. They're just amazing, honestly. All right, and now we're gonna do a fun activity. We're gonna visit a local community and see how they live in these dusty lands. But wait, uh, this does not look good. Apparently something's wrong with the car. <laughs> Never mind, nothing was wrong with the car. They just wanted to make sure everything was fine. We arrived at the local village and this is where they live. Hello, we're visiting a local community here and they're gonna dance for us, they told us. We, we got this stick to talk and uh, the outfit. <laughs> But I'm wearing white shoes again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that all the time, but. You saw that some of them really liked to dance for us and others were kind of bothered by it. But I understand because they probably have 10 other jeeps every day they have to dance for. But after they've been dancing in front of us, showing us a little bit how it works, they grabbed our arms and dragged us into the crowd. <laughs> The houses. Are you yeah. from where? I'm from Brazil. He's uh, from Netherlands. Yes. That was really fun actually dancing with all those people. They're showing us now how to make fire with a knife and a stick and they're just turning it around very quickly. They gave us little necklaces. So beautiful. Okay, let's see. And now we're gonna look inside of one of their homes. Oh, you have no lights, of I course. Right? Right. Sit over here. Okay. I'll sit down here. This is my house. Sorry for that. I think you are house. Sorry, I stopped recording here because I didn't feel very comfortable showing him and his whole house to the video. He was also apologizing for his house to be so small compared to my house, which was probably very big, he said. So I just felt a little bit uncomfortable, right? But anyways, after this, they took us to the shop where we had to buy something. It was obviously not mandatory and they said, you don't have to buy anything. But they were obviously putting a lot of pressure on us. But we ended up spending 50 US dollars for only two bracelets and two other small things. Did they learn the language? How cute. <laughs> But after spending 50 US dollars in the shop, they made us donate another $10 for the school, which definitely felt like a ripoff. So after all, quick sum up, we paid $50 to get into their village, we paid another $50 in the shop, and another $10 for their school. In literally less than 30 minutes, we spent over $100 on this village. And obviously we want to support them, but this was just too crazy, and I would not recommend you to make a stop at one of these villages. These activities are only to scam tourists and make tourists pay. Because these same bracelets you can literally get anywhere for two dollars maybe four dollars here we are the next park what is the name again manjara manjara, manjara national park lake manjara lake manjara national park with a lake as i said <laughs> we're going to the toilet quickly we're getting our entry tickets and then we start the safari tour here in this uh, national park but after pee so bad oh my god we're back at the truck which is waiting for gabriel to uh pee get the tickets and then we're off thank you it looked like we arrived in the jungle. It was so green. We will be driving the whole day again in search for amazing animals and hippos especially. Most of the land in Manyara was the lake. The water itself is flowing in from the Ngorongoro Highlands. The Ngorongoro Highlands, that's where the water flows in from there up here. And you see it's coming all the way from Ngorongoro up here. Can see it's coming. The national park is about 200 square kilometers. 
In this park, it's more about nature and plants. And we've seen some monkeys because it's the perfect location for monkeys to live. In the trees, there's plenty of food, there's enough water. You will see some elephants, Gabriel told us. But this is more about looking at the trees, the beautiful nature, the water, and the cute monkeys, of course. So a completely different national park, not even two hours away from the other one. Completely different nature. It's yeah. very interesting to see what Africa so has to offer. You know? Oh, the elephants are here. Oh, let's see. Maybe you take the picture. Oh yeah, there you. Oh yeah. Don't fight, mama. Oh no. How are we gonna do it? Because these monkeys are literally just chilling. They were spread out all over the road and they didn't care that we wanted to pass through. They were like, this is our territory, you take it easy. Oh, that bird is also really nice. And even giraffes here. We're, we're rushing a little bit. It's like, okay, baboons, okay, let's go. Oh, what? The giraffe, the way they stand up there, it's good. What? Oh yeah, the, okay. Yeah, let me record that too. Amazing. We're like, oh yeah, we're hungry. Let's go. We have to go to the place where... Because this one is already eating like dry cupcakes because he's so hungry. I'm also hungry. I can also eat something, but I'm not dying yet. We created our own lunch packs with the breakfast buffet. So this is what I showed. It's not too much. But Salo has a full bag full of food. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's gonna eat it. If not, then I'm probably gonna eat something because I didn't take too much. Sandwich with cheese, some chicken. Oh, kind of okay. Matata, <laughs> that's the lake, guys, and there's a lot of water there. But it just looks like it's dried up. Oh no, no, now you see. Oh, they're the zebras. Look, big mamas. They're always so fat. And now the magical moment you've all been waiting for. We had to stay very quiet because we were so close. Wasn't that beautiful? And I'm wearing earplugs against the wind. We're stuck here. We wanted to go that way, but apparently there are rocks in the way. We can't go, so he's reversing now. Look, but there's rocks everywhere there. Okay, a little bit to the, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Okay, go straight, straight, straight to the back. Just keep going. We're gonna make it. Maybe a little bit to the left for you. A little bit to the left for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Great. Yeah. We've made it. And we continue our journey. Foreigners pay 59 US dollars in high season to enter this national park. This monkey has blue balls. Look at it. <laughs> Amazing. Then your whole body is like camouflage colors and then your balls are baby blue. <laughs> This is honestly one of my favorite animals in this park. The Dick Dick. Oh my god. I think their name is so funny. They look like babies, but they are actually grown up. This part, everything is dead because of the salt water from the lake. There in the back, with the street, the road as a border, you have the forest with sweet water. And look who we have here. The flamingos. Yay. They're wide though, because they don't eat that many shrimps. We're back outside. We drive 15 more minutes to our lodge. There were not, not that many flies in this park, so that's really good. In the other park, you had the tzetzet flies, something like that. We were passing through a lot of small villages to get to our lodge. Wow. Look where we are at. Beautiful. There's the reception. There's wildlife. We'll do a tour later. <laughs> this one it is. Thank you guys. Welcome. So beautiful and big. Wow. Awesome. And then here on the back, they even have light switches. Amazing. Here in the shower, rain shower, amenities, everything here, and the toilet. 
It's very dark here. This is the only light. <laughs> I don't even see this as like a tent. Well, this is tenty. But yeah, yeah, it's a tent the and wall, a, yeah, yeah. the wall is a tent. The rest is an, is an apartment. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Yeah, they did such a good job. This is the pool. Isn't it beautiful? And look, there are the zebras. This is the sunset. How beautiful. We're going to try and make a picture with the zebra there. Let's see. All right. We're coming close. <laughs> She is. She is so close. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my god. I'm so close to a zebra. Can you believe it? <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm walking back to the tent. Or the huge apartment tent kind of a thing. It's full of monkeys. There are monkeys everywhere, literally. And we have to close our tents very, very well. We have to secure everything properly because the monkeys literally come in the tent and they steal things and stuff. So I'm very curious to see what dinner is gonna, gonna be like. So come with us. There's the restaurant. On your way to the restaurant, you see all these wildlife. We're freshly showered. It's probably gonna be a buffet dinner again. And we're already getting hungry. Let's see what we're gonna get. We'll first check out this view tower here. A bat? Oh, there's a bat. <laughs> oh no. What are you gonna do? Do you want me to go first? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> it literally went in here. The bed was luckily nowhere to be found so we could enjoy the views in peace. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. I can't believe this. We walked to the restaurant where dinner was served. How cozy does this look? Nice. Potato with onion. Got it. Some meat. Delicious. And there is dessert. We're being escorted to the room again. Because if zebras can come in, lions can come in too. <laughs> it's very dark. I don't know if you can see me. Just wanted to close off today. It's been an incredible day. We had an amazing dinner. We saw lions this morning. We saw beautiful elephants and a lot of monkeys. So it's been a very nice day. A long trip in the car though. Tomorrow is going to be another long trip. We wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning. So definitely tune in tomorrow to see that. We are driving as we speak to the Goro Goro Crater and we will arrive at the main gates very shortly. Just a minute here guys. Just want to get some shillings. Slap on the machines. Let's start the timer to see how long it takes for sellers to show up here. I saw any seller. I Ron. saw Ron already and I looked him in the eye. Yeah, there it is. First one. Yeah, but we don't want any. First one. <laughs> These candies are amazing. And it's funny because they don't even have any information on the back of the package. I have no idea how many calories there are in, in, in one of these candies. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm skinny. After just a few minutes, we continued our way and arrived at the Gorogoro National Park very shortly after. After waiting for almost an hour, we finally got the tickets and we could enter the crater. Something very funny happened at the parking lot. While we were waiting for Gabriel to get the papers to enter this park, I will tell about this funny moment at the end of the video. Wow well, guys, it smells so good up in here. And it's so foggy because we're so high up. This is pure air. It smells like toilet refreshener, but then good, you know? We were driving all the way around the crater. We were so high up that we had no views at all. We only saw clouds. It is cold. <gasps> yeah, you put on my jacket, I put on your jacket. It's so cold. We're so high up. After a very steep road down, we finally arrived at the bottom of the crater and the views were spectacular. 
Everywhere you looked, you saw these huge herds of wildebeest and zebras and gazelles grazing. So we made it our goal today to see a hippo, to see a rhino, a black rhino, right? Black rhino, was it? Black rhino and hyenas also. Because they are all here and we haven't seen any of them. So hippo, hyenas and black rhinos, let's see. We've seen already some lions, but they were pretty far in the distance. Beautiful meal with mane and everything, but I couldn't get it on camera because they were too far. But it's beautiful, it's not that hot yet. It's actually pretty cold still, so we are wearing our jackets. A magical place. I think we spotted a hippo right there, chilling. We're gonna get closer to see if it's really a hippo. Nice. Beautiful bird. Oh no. I think it's a rock. <laughs> too bad. Or is it a hippo? Huh? That's a hippo. Oh my god, it's a hippo! That's what I was saying. Look at the oh. tail! It's slipping. <laughs> oh, but it's so alone. Oh Glory. my god. Wow, Gloria! Yes, first hippo after 10 minutes. He thought it was a rock, and I thought it was a rock too, but... Yeah, it did... <laughs> okay, well, we do it again. I thought it was a rock, and he also thought it was, it was a rock. rock yeah. But uh, it was a hippo. hippo, yes, the first one, but he's so alone. I wonder where his friends are. I think he passed out and his friends just run off. <laughs> Awesome, so in less than 10 minutes, we could scratch off the hippos from our list. Now the hyenas and the rhino still to go. Hippos are more active at night and to protect their skin from the sun, they will spend the day in the water keeping their skin wet. Wow, big mamas. But there were not only hippos here at this spot. Watch this. There's is a cat. What is the name again? Serval cat. Serval cat. This serval cat actually looks like a mini cheetah, but it's more like a cat that we know, right? But it was walking towards us. So we got serval cat and the hippos. Look at that. It was probably hunting for small birds. The way it was walking, it was probably hunting. We continued driving and stumbled across a big wild boar. Ah, look, Pumba and his friend. We're gonna find a place to have lunch now. And he's gotta pee. This is our lunch again. We love We love cups. This is our place. Everyone is having lunch here now. Look at this. Oh, they're fighting. Delicious. Rice and pasta. Enough choice. Bon appetit. After lunch, we drove off again in search for the rhino and the hyenas. And I'm gonna tell you, we're about to see one of them. Have a look. There's hyenas. What do they eat? There's hyenas. They eat these guys. There, the hyenas running. But they, they affect these guys. But hyenas don't kill themselves. They, like lions do the job and then they steal the meat, right? That's what... Really? Oh. Oh, there he is, yeah. Wait. So hyenas normally hunt in packs, but this one was walking alone towards a herd of wildebeest. He was probably not gonna hunt them, but just wanted to pass through. Okay, so that was a hyena. Check. So we see the hippos and hyenas, so the only thing left to see is the black rhino. It's gonna be very difficult because it's an endangered species, so... There are not many here, but there are some, so hopefully, fingers crossed. For now, they have to wait a little bit because we will be running into a pack of lions right now. Have a look. Oh, look what we found. The ladies are KO. Gosh. How nice is it if you're a lion and you can just chill the whole day? And then with your girlfriends, you just hunt something in the morning, you eat it, and then the rest of the day, you just chill out, you relax, you lay your ass down and enjoy the sun. I think life is good as a lie, especially in, in a park like this. It's full of food. Gosh. Every now and then, one gets up, sets three steps, and yes, lays down again. We are doing our very best to spot the black rhino, which seems to be very difficult. And with no bathrooms closed, we have to look at other options. Oh my god, he's gonna pee. The car. He's gonna pee. And it's so dangerous. Maybe there's a hyena. 
Well, joking, it's not that dangerous. Just stand behind the jeep and make sure to keep your eyes open. Then you'll pee with the most beautiful views ever. Look at this. The heaviest what? Heaviest flying bird. Heaviest flying bird. Yeah. Wow. Remember that we're driving through a huge crater. The bottom is flat, but it's completely surrounded by steep walls. Animals cannot go out easily. You know, besides the well-known safari animals, we get to see so many different types of animals, like beautiful birds. Don't you think it's funny that ostriches don't have any feathers growing on their hips? It's so pink. How funny. And then this happened. It seems like these animals are just zoo animals. They're so used to humans. They know we're not a threat to them, so they just block the roads and show no rush to get out of the way for us. And of course, we respect them and let them slowly walk to the side of the road. This was the only time we came so close to the wildebeest, I could literally touch them. In the center of the crater is a huge lake. This lake is home to many hippos and all the animals from the crater drink from that water. All these cars there in the distance are stopping and when there are a lot of cars together it means that there is something special. And now we are running towards the end of the day so everyone is looking for the black rhinos because we have seen lions before and then all the cars, all the jeeps, they queue up, you know, they all, all come there and then they pile up kind of and you know there's something special going on. So we think that there is a black rhino so let's see if that's true. As you can see there are a lot of cars there so it must be something special. Gabriel, our guide, is rushing as fast as he can towards the jeeps in the distance. We want to know what it is. And we thought these big black dots were black rhinos. Turns out they're just buffaloes. But we're getting close to all the other trucks. Let's see. Okay, we're here. We cannot see anything. What is here? Just a lot of trucks. Lions. Uh, lions? To the right here. Yeah. Lions to the right. I don't see it. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Right there. Okay. Oh. Just a lion. We are already at that point where it's like disappointing to see a lion. It's like, I want to see a rhino. It's so funny because before it was the opposite way. Like, oh, zebras, ah, oh, zebras. And then you see a ton of zebras and you're like, bored the zebras. And then, oh, yeah, elephant. Okay, lion, 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 lion. And then you have seen three, five, ten lions and you're like, okay, another lion. We want to see a rhino now. But they're very rare, so. What? They had a kill, you see, this red deer. They had a kill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, right here in the grass. The grass here is red. Obviously, that is blood. So that means that the lions have killed something here recently. Okay, well, our search for the rhino continues. And I am burned. Every now and then, we're passing a truck with photographers. They have the biggest cameras. You won't believe it. This is an elephant. The skull of an elephant. Can you believe it? Gosh, those jaws. Hello, pretty bird. Wow. Okay, guys, after a whole day driving around the crater, we made it to the exit. A steep one-way road up the crater wall. Now you see how difficult it is for animals to get out, huh? We have to leave now because we have to drive for another hour to get to our lodge. A luxurious camp in the middle of a smaller crater next to the one we are in now. It's promised to be the best location for sunsets, but it can be very windy too. Unfortunately, we haven't seen the black rhino today, but after this national park, we are going to the Serengeti National Park, so we're not completely out of chances. But our visit to that national park will be covered in the next travel vlog. Anyways, let's make our way to the lodge where food is being served because we're so hungry. We've been driving for 20 minutes because our camp has relocated to another place. We're finally arriving. So sandy here. Wow. Gabriel is doing such a good job. Whoa. I have the feeling this is leading to nowhere. <laughs> All these local towns were crossing through a lot. Wow. All these local villages, like where we were, you know, the Masai, where we were before, they look exactly the same. All right, we're here. The sunset. 
We have arrived and we just came right in time. Look at the sunset. We got a hot towel for a face. They love that here and I love it too, actually. <laughs> it's great, it's beautiful. Look at it. So yes, people were right. This is a beautiful place to watch the sunset. Okay. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Bathroom. And the sunset even. This is the tent. You're in there. There are two twin beds. And this is gonna be my favorite spot probably because look at this. Wow. Here we will have dinner. Sweet corn soup. Nice. This soup is delicious. Sweet corn and a bit spicy. Delicious. And we eat their bread, which is also very tasty, with butter and salt, obviously. Oh gosh, look what's walking in our dinner. Good morning, good morning. Well, I would say not so good morning because I did not sleep nice. Uh, there was a lot of wind, but I also got diarrhea, so I had to get up four times in the night. So I made myself a drink now with honey and salt, and it's supposed to cure me. I had it also once in, in Bali, and it worked after one cup, but now I drank one cup and I have to go to the toilet. Anyways, sorry for that information. I'm sure that you're not waiting for that, but it's part of the deal, right? It's part of the travel. Anyways, we're gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna drive for four hours to uh, Serengeti Park. That's so nice, I have this now and we have to drive for four hours, but okay, we'll survive. And then we stay two nights in Serengeti Park. I'm looking so much forward to it. I feel good, I feel amazing, I would say. I'm not feeling sick or anything. Just my stomach is being weird. If that's everything, then we will definitely survive it. <laughs> There we go. It's a beautiful day and we're heading to the Serengeti National Park, Tanzania's most famous safari park. And on the way, we stumbled across these giraffes who are also on their way to the Serengeti National Park, as well as this herd of giraffes. Apparently they all got babies because there's so many of them. Go fast before the special <laughs> This road, we have to drive over it for like three hours. It was a sandy and bumpy road with not much to see. Whoa, this guy went on the way to the, oh, mouse. On the way to the washroom, this guy was black and now it is purple and pink. Try to come closer. All right, here we are, the gate of the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. We'll spend three days and two nights here. What we're about to see is gonna blow your mind for sure. All right, we made a quick stop to make sure all the papers were right, and we are driving right now into the park. Uh, our lodge is in the center of the National Park, which is 1,500 square kilometers, so it's huge. And for as far as I can see now, we're driving on top of the hill a little bit. Uh, with the typical Lion King trees and stuff, you all have that here. So it's, again, a complete different park from all the parks that we've been so we're very excited and with me it's going all right now that's good let's go so today we are entering the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and we'll spend a full two days here and I'm gonna tell you now we're gonna see crazy things so stay tuned so we made our stop to open the roof again because it's getting hot and I wanted to show you guys that not all grass is dead like you have green grass here that is also raining here. And there were two elephants, three elephants just right there, but I don't think we're gonna see them now. As said before, the Serengeti National Park stretches over 15,000 square kilometers and is visited by over 350,000 people each year. Back in 1981, it was also designed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. First catch, lion. There he is. And the park is home to around 2 million animals from which around 4,000 lions and over 500 bird species. And be prepared because we're gonna spot some lions today. But first, time for lunch in the middle of nowhere. How oh, nice. Perfect. 
Ah, that three course lunch was great. We're ready to go. I think that's the biggest herd we've seen so far. We found a huge herd of elephants, the biggest one we've seen so far, probably. I counted over 30 animals, and so many elephants together could only mean one thing. Fights. There's a tornado, right there. And I've never seen a tornado in my life, so... Another bucket list thing, check. It's not really one person. Wind hose. Yeah. Tornado. It's already gone, but it, it looked like a tornado. Oh no, no, it's popping up right there. Cool. We had lunch. Now we're in the car. We saw some elephants. Big herd, actually. And now we are continuing our journey looking for cheetahs. Because apparently there are also rhinos here, but it's they're very rare. Like, in general, they're very rare in whole Africa, but they're also very, very rare in this park. And especially because it's not raining season. Most of the animals have gone up north towards Kenya to look for water and lakes and stuff. Because it's pretty dry here. But in the next shot, we will see how elephants are invading the space of sleeping lions and they make a lot of noise again. Let's have a look. This is the pack of lions, four cubs and two moms, just casually sleeping under the tree. And there's the herd of elephants slowly approaching the tree where the lions are. I'm telling you, in a few seconds, it's about to go down. The first elephant is exploring the tree and checking if everything is safe. But then he sees the pack of lions. Oh no. Oh no. The lion cub wakes up but doesn't smell any danger. The elephants start to make some noise and the whole pack of lions wake up. The whole pack runs off, except for one cub, which could be very dangerous for him. The dad of the herd is about to run after the lions to scare them off. The whole herd instantly makes a circle around the babies to protect them. The lions run off and the elephants are happy eating their fresh green grass in peace. Well, elephants don't attack cars unless we are really in the way and we make them angry. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. These are topis. Topis? T-O-P-I, Topis, and they're uh, sitting get the exclusive. Nice. But hey, do you remember where this was for? We're busy trying to spot the big five, but along the way we'll see many more animals. And this image is showing you exactly what animals we've seen already during our safari trip, all vlogs combined. The Serengeti plane seemed endless, but high up in the tree there is one lazy animal chilling. It's just laying down. Always. <laughs> is it even hunting and eating? I don't know. He's always by himself and always chilling up in the tree. <laughs> Where the lions lay on the ground, the leopard chills in the tree. It's beautiful though. Woo. Yeah, I know. It's hard sometimes to hold on to my phone. Look, it's raining there on the other side. Again, there is a lot of cars there. What is there to see? Every time all safari jeeps are gathering, it mostly means that there's a special animal to see. And we don't want to miss out, of course, so Gabriel is driving as fast as he can. Cheetah, maybe? Let's see what we are going to find. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, nice. Hippopotamus. Well, we just found them on the way to whatever is going on there, so... But I quickly wanted to have a shot of the hippopotamus. Oh, cute. Okay, these guys are going over the bridge and then it's our turn to go and see what is there. Okay guys, lions, look, right there. I think it's lion day today because we have seen only lions today. This is the perfect habitat for lions because they literally, the hippos are making noise. <laughs> you hear it? I know. It's a lion, another lion. Oh, there's another lion, yeah. There's another lion. Oh, he's calling. 
Well, it's been the lion day. They perfectly camouflage with the grass here because it's literally the same color. You want to see? Yes. Is it male? Oh, without manes, right? No manes, yeah. Walking towards the cars. Oh my gosh. He's got very small manes. Oh, he's laying down. Oh, they're lions. Look at that. And a little cup also. How cute. Wow, this is a real lion. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, lions are lazy animals during the day. They hunt mainly in the morning and the afternoon. So during the day, they don't have to do anything and they're just chilling in the shades. It is August and that means that it's dry season. But that doesn't mean that there's no water at all. Besides lions, there is another animal that is not really doing anything while the sun is shining. Look at these big hippos enjoying their lives in the water. So all of these cars were here and we thought, oh, maybe lions or a leopard. But it is a cheetah. A cheetah, guys. That's a new one. We haven't seen that one so far. It's right by that tree, but it's a bit far away, so we cannot really get any closer. So I hope it's gonna move. I can grab a shot for y'all, but three, three cheetahs? Two cheetahs. Awesome. We can add cheetahs to the list as well. Look, there, right there, under the tree, hiding from the sun. A mom with two younger cubs. This is a secretary bird, and it reminds me of Zoo Tycoon for some reason. It's an endangered species, and it's known for its snake-killing skills. And yes, of course, this little bird is also very cute. There's so many places that are burned here. They do that to kill all the ticks and diseases that may be there in the plants. But it looks kind of sad, all the dead lands and dead trees and stuff. Oh gosh, look at this. Oh, we're swimming. Uh oh, <laughs> he was like, uh oh, engine turned off. Uh oh. <laughs> good, we made it. Gabriel is such a good driver. After an amazing day, we're heading towards the lodge. This looks amazing, this one. And here's the bar. Oh, there's Solo. Looks good, eh? Here. Yep. Nice. Let's see the tent. So this camp is different from the other camps because he told us that we cannot walk alone, not even during daylight. And in the other camps, we could walk alone during daylight and then during nighttime, they had to walk someone with us for safety reasons, right? Does it make you feel safer, Salo? No. <laughs> it's fine. And we go up there, up the hill later to see the sunset. That's even scarier, eh? Even... <laughs> no, we'll do that. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, right there. That's gonna be amazing, I'm sure. Well, let's uh, find our tent. From the outside, it looks like a big tent, but from the inside, it's a real paradise. Everything we could have possibly wished for is available to us. Oh, there's even mosquito spray. No mosquito. Mosquito spray, yeah, but no mosquito. No mosquito. Here, right, no. yeah, the two walk. The line boots, but no, no lane. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is amazing again. Look at it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> This is crazy! It's good. This is amazing. Let's see the outside. He even gave us an extra bet. Look. Oh. So peaceful. Guys, this place is amazing. This tent is huge. It really looks like a luxurious, a lux hotel. How do you say that? Luxurious. Luxurious? It really looks like a luxurious hotel, like an expensive hotel. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. And they have literally everything. I'm literally sitting on a desk right now where you can work. And they say the Wi-Fi was not working in the tent, but it's working in the tent, actually. Dinner is going to be at 7.30. And it's funny because we started in our first lodge, the dinner at 6.30, then 7, then 7.15, and now 7.30. It's so funny. Every time we move to another lodge, they move up the dinner time. We're just going to relax because we're here for two nights. And tomorrow we're going to do a safari here in the Senariti Park as well. And we'll be staying here in this exact same tent. And I love it, to be honest, because it's just... I don't know. I can just... 
leave my bags here, unpack a little bit, you know? I hope we sleep amazing. There is no mosquitoes here, there's no wind. So I think that are the perfect ingredients for a perfect night of sleep. And I'm feeling better, I'm feeling way better. And Salo is feeling good. What can go wrong? Wow, look how beautiful this is. Yes. Oh my god, a three course menu they serve. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> we start with a cauliflower soup. The lit and he's already eating bread. <laughs> this is the lamb rack, guys. Wow. They made it beautifully. Alright guys, I'm in my bed. We're playing a card game and they surprised us with this hot thing. I don't know what the name is in English. In Dutch, we call it a kruik. And it's really nice and warm. We didn't see it, it was in our baths. And then when we opened the blanket, it was right there. It was a very positive, nice surprise. So um, we're playing some card games and then we're gonna sleep. So that was today. See you tomorrow. Good morning. They even serve X Benedict, his favorite. Yes! I slept amazing, we both slept amazing. I think we went to bed at around 9.30. It was just amazing, no wind, no animals. The bed was comfy, we got two pillows. It was amazing! Our battery is charged, so we can go on with the day. Last we, day. We, the last safari day, indeed. We decided to start two hours later today. At 10 o'clock, he's gonna pick us up, Gabriel. Because we wanted to sleep a little bit and do slower today to start up, right? Because we were just so tired. So it's gonna be an amazing day, hopefully. But first, let's enjoy this delicious breakfast. All right, we're back in the van. He is completely covered in sun cream. So that's good because you know, he's Brazilian. So his skin is like getting dark after a little bit of sun. It's like getting black, you know? This is the last day of the safari. So we're gonna see if we're gonna get some action, some hunting, but probably we end up seeing some elephants chasing lions again. But it's also luck because not many people see that, so we're blessed anyways. We are driving towards some water, some small lakes, is what Gabriel told us, to see if we can catch some action, so let's go. Well, the lakes have to wait a little bit. There is it, that tree, right there. We just left the camp area and Gabriel already spotted a leopard chilling in the tree far away. We decided to take a closer look and drove up to the tree and yes, there he was looking at us, keeping a close eye on us. It was a very special moment, such a beautiful animal, honestly. We're so close. He did see us but was not showing any intention to come down. He was only moving us still. It's looking at us? That it is not coming down. It does not want to attack whatsoever. It's just looking. It's amazing. Wow. And from one cat, we roll right into the next one. I have the feeling it's gonna be a cat day today. We're only gonna see leopards, cheetahs, and lions because now we're gonna see some cheetahs. But as soon as the cheetahs are being spotted, all the cars are incoming. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> of course, everyone wants to get a glimpse of this beautiful cheetah creature and i think it's maybe the same as yesterday i'm not sure because it's a oh it's not the same well it's three cheetahs so it's a mama cheetah is it three and two babies i think there's three yeah one behind one in the front and then the mama on top really yeah i think so there's no way to get closer right this road is going straight that way Well, we decided to continue our safari and we'll be coming back later to see if the cheetahs have moved somewhere closer. Cause it's not allowed to drive off road. So we have to keep our hopes up that these cheetahs will move closer to the road in a few hours. And let me tell you, they will. So stay tuned. At this moment, we are looking for a nice tree to have some lunch. Okay, we found our lunch spot. Delicious three course lunch, even with cake. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Under a tree without bees. Bon appetit. It's my place. Well, you didn't have to wait that long, did you? We had an amazing lunch where after we decided to drive straight back to the cheetahs to see if they had moved. And yes, look at this. Gabriel drove around the cheetah so we could see them from all sides and they didn't seem to be bothered by our presence. Oh my god, we came so close! Like literally five meters. <gasps> Amazing! 
These animals are so beautiful. And they have small heads, small body. It's amazing. As I said, it's cat day today. Here we have some lions, the third cat species we're seeing today. His manes are very short, but oh, he's moving backwards. But it's so beautiful. Wow. It's a young male, and he's not alone. There are three males here, close to one another. Are they, are they brothers, you think? Yeah. And their face is so rough, like they have a fight daily, you know? They all look like Scar from Simba. And you know, Simba means lion in Swahili, like local language. They're so lazy animals, they're always chilling. <laughs> they're always laying down. I know I call lions lazy very often, and I know that they are in fact maybe not that lazy, but we're just always seeing them laying on the ground and never really in action. If there are lions, then there are many trucks, you know? Wherever the lion goes, the trucks are following the lion or whatever animal. I feel like, you know, these animals are like Beyonce because they're literally having paparazzi around them all the time. So funny. They don't seem to be bothered by it. So lazy. Wow. Gosh. And boom. Yes. His brothers are there somewhere. Oh, here's here's his brother walking. And the other brother is probably in the water. Yeah. And down there. So that lion walked from here, laying down to there, and he put himself on the ground again, laying down. These animals are so lazy. <laughs> but mommy is coming there. A female lion is coming as well. Right there, she is looking. It is probably just one pack, but they're all walking far away from each other. The female lion has arrived at the road where the jeep is standing. They're so used to the cars, I cannot get over it. And now it's our turn to get close to the lion. Not the one we just saw, but its brother. He is KO and doesn't give a damn about the jeeps driving by so closely. There are some jeeps gathering, so we make our way to them to see what's happening. And it's a male lion with a female, which means they are probably together and mating. They chose each other as boyfriends. Oh gosh, it started raining so hard. <laughs> We're closing the roof very quickly. <laughs> oh my god. An open roof with rain is not so nice, so Gabriel's closing it very quickly. Well, I guess it even rains in dry season in Africa. <laughs> mm, no more dry season. No more dry season. <laughs> wet season now. Since we've seen so many beautiful animals today and it started raining just now, we decided to head back to the lodge. Look what we've got here. A hygiene. In the rain. Bien rico. At the very last moment, we run into this hyena. What a coincidence. We have literally seen almost all cat species today. How amazing is that? The rain makes it hard to see something. Normally, I would stand up through the roof so I can overlook the savanna, but it's a bit difficult now. It's almost five o'clock anyways, so it's a good time to return back to the lodge. I think this day was truly one of the best safari days we've had in all the parks combined. We came so close to a lot of cat species. Truly an amazing experience. There is a mini capybara. Look at him in the Hyrex, it's called. It's like a dinosaur name, but whatever. Hyrex, mini capybara. I think that's better. So cute. Bye. Thank you all. We're heading home to the camp. It's 4.30, we're heading home, well, heading to the camp. I am wondering what the three course menu looked like today, because yesterday they didn't disappoint. They actually surprised me with the quality of the food. It was delicious. And normally we get buffets, right? So we can just go with our place and get what we want, but 
these guys are serving three course meals is insane. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Salo as well, right? Yes. <laughs> I hope I heard back from Seychelles because that's where we go after for my electronic border control form that I had to submit. I hope they approved it. When I have Wi-Fi back in the camp, I will look immediately. It's a quick stop in Ethiopia first, don't forget. Yeah, we're going to stop in Ethiopia first. Okay. We have a layover there, but a long layover, so we're going to try the food as well to a typical Ethiopian restaurant. So that's going to be amazing, and obviously I'm going to record it, so you will be joining me on the trip. Perfect. And Seychelles is going to be amazing, I'm 100% sure, but they have to approve my online visa first. Oh, gosh. They're laughing at me. But first, we check up on our leopard friend from this morning. It looks like he has a gazelle. And we missed out on the action again. But we could still look at the gazelle that was caught by the leopard. He had killed the gazelle and took it up in the tree, where it was safe for thieves like hyenas. He did not eat the gazelle yet. It's still laying there, it's a bit cruel. Here's what they do. They kill their prey and wait until they really get hungry. They can eat a few days from one animal, and in the meantime, he'll protect it from scavengers. And on the other side, there's beautiful giraffe. They were literally standing next to the tree with the leopard, smelling no danger. First and only zebra in this area. Oh, look at him. The rest has all been eaten, you say? Sure. Yeah, he's alone. Yeah, they don't walk at all. They should be around here, so they're gone. All the zebras are gone because the lions, they hunt for zebras or for buffaloes or some, but they are not really here because they all migrated to Kenya. The lions have to feed off zebras now, but there are not many. Um, it could possibly be that this is the only zebra left in this area and all his friends have been killed. It's so sad. We are arriving at the camp now. All right, here we are after a long day of animal spotting. <laughs> It has rain here. Oh, there she comes with the wipes. How amazing. Another buffalo. Oof. All right, let's go. And as expected, an amazing three course menu was served. And it's a different one than yesterday. And we're closing off the last day of the safari with a delicious three course menu again. Bon appetit. Good morning guys, is this the last day here in Tanzania and we are flying to Seychelles today and I have good news because my travel authorization is approved. I am allowed to travel to Seychelles, I'm very happy. But before we arrive in Seychelles, we have to take a small plane for 12 people that takes one and a half hours and brings us back to Arusha. I'm very scared for that because I've never been in a small plane. It will be fine, hopefully, let's see. And then from Arusha, we go to Kilimanjaro airport and from there we go to Ethiopia for one night. We have an amazing restaurant planned with typical Ethiopian food. After a night layover, we stay in a hotel there too. We fly to Seychelles. So we have to wait a little bit before arriving in Seychelles, but Ethiopia is gonna be amazing and this little plane ride is gonna be challenging, so. But first, we're gonna have breakfast. Walking to breakfast. We're the last breakfast table. Absolutely right. <laughs> All the others are already gone. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys Thank for you. staying up for us. Thank you. Wow, delicious. We got pancakes. <sighs> this is so amazing. Everything is burned here, but still it looks amazing. Relaxation. And of course we had to write something in the guest book. They were amazing. The food was amazing and the service was even better. There we go. They all waved at us. So sweet. So now we're on our way to the airfield. We heard the some lions. Yeah, the lions were everywhere. The whole night, I woke up two times because of the lions. <laughs> From our lodge where we have stayed overnight, it was just an hour and a half drive to the small airport. This is the airport, all the small planes. We're probably going with that bigger plane there. So funny, because it's kind of chaotic here. Everyone is just waiting. <laughs> Like literally next to the planes. Now I have to go to the toilet and the toilet is outside also, so oh, I'm already peeing my pants. Oh, gosh. Oh. I'm nervous. 
Oh my god. But luckily it's not a super small plane. This one at least has two propellers. It's less scary, I would say. Just choose our seats? I think so. The plane was very small, I think there were like 12 other people flying with us. It was just a 30 minute flight and I must confess, I was so scared at first, but it was better than expected. The views over the landscapes of Serengeti National Park were breathtaking and before I knew it we were already landing. Okay, the landing was kind of scary but the flight itself was okay. We flew for 30-45 minutes and we're already in Arusha. Now there's someone to pick us up and then we drive to Kilimanjaro Airport. We will be in time for our next flight, it's 1 o'clock now, so that's perfect. And then we walk here. This is our Jeep again. Brilliant, the same. Our tour operator, they picked us up easily, they were waiting for us. So now it's just another hour ride to Kilimanjaro Airport. And then we are just in time for our flight. Oh, amazing. This one is newer actually, and there are fewer seats also. Seems bigger. Well, and it's funny because we got out of the plane, but the plane that we were in is actually going to Zanzibar, the island, you know, the famous island. Well, they loaded off our bags, but they also loaded off bags for people that were going to Zanzibar. So they came out of the plane running like, oh no, these are our bags. They need to be in the plane because we're going to Zanzibar. Oh my God, imagine being in a plane and this is a stop and then you have to go further and your bags are being offloaded here. Like, but we don't have to worry about that because we're having a pickup, a driver. Oh, there's Salo again. Hello, perfect. The driver was taking us to the office of the tour agency so we could evaluate everything and give them our feedback. And it was an hour drive, so we enjoyed the chaotic streets of Tanzania for one last time. After our short visit to the office, we had some time left to grab lunch before we had to go to the airport. We found a cute restaurant not so far from us and we just decided to go. Okay, we arrived at our lunch place. <laughs> yes. No more food. Okay, just take a picture. Yeah. All right. Well, that restaurant was closed, so we're on a mission to find another one. We're just gonna go back to our hotel, Gran Melia, where we had the burger last time when we stayed here, and we had the earthquake. Remember? Yes. We're just gonna grab some lunch here. We know that we can pay with card because we completely run out of cash because we had to tip literally everyone, you know. It's funny because now we are outside and when we had dinner last time we were here like a week ago, seats were all taken so we couldn't sit outside unfortunately to enjoy this beautiful view because this is just amazing. This is one of the few towers in Arusha and it has stunning views over the nature and the hills and the mountains here. So uh, yeah, perfect. So this one I did not have yet, Kilimanjaro beer. So let's try it with the beautiful views. I drank the Serengeti beer in Serengeti Park and now we are closer to the Kilimanjaro and I drink the Kilimanjaro beer. Cheers! Cheers. Good. Nice one, very light. Oh, delicious! Enjoy it! Ah, oh, can I have the... Um... Oh, it's not here, I have it in the car. The schools were done for today and the children love to wave at the tourists driving by in safari jeeps and look at their cute school uniforms. The last views of Tanzania, it was amazing. Okay, so after customs and two security checks, we're finally walking to our plane. It's right there. I'm just so tired. Honestly, I'm gonna change my t-shirt when I'm in the plane, then just relax. Quickly changing into a different shirt because I'm a bit smelly. So I have enough space here, just gonna get another t-shirt. I'm too hot and I'm smelly as well. We're ready. The user interfaces from Ethiopian Airlines are very old and here you see that we're flying through the Kilimanjaro mountain. <laughs> well, it's time to take off and we're not flying through the mountain of course, but we are able to see the top that is reaching above the clouds. A unique picture. 
was coming to sit next to me. Bother nice. you all a little bit. Nice. Now we're sitting together. We have the menu again, but this time we're not going to eat because we're going to have dinner in Ethiopia. So, no menu for us today. That was the full vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I want to give a special shout out to Brilliant Safaris. I still have the hat here. It's been an amazing journey. We've seen almost the big five, every animal except the rhino, unfortunately. I think that's a reason to go back to Africa. Tanzania is amazing. It is so green. The four national parks we've been to are incredible, honestly. These are memories for a lifetime and I'm so blessed. Again, a super thank you to you for watching the whole video and a huge thank you to Brilliant Safaris. I don't know what to say, so thanks again and I'll see you at the next video. Thank <laughs> you.